On this episode, we talk to a traveling nurse, husband, recruiter, and their dog. Atlas All Access starts now. Okay, welcome. So, Steve, Debbie, and recruiter Hannah to episode 10. Woo. We made 10 episodes of the podcast. Double digits. Double digits. And Adam's not here to see it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> He'll watch it later, though. So, anyway, <laughs> Hannah, do you, you want to introduce them? And like, how long have you been working with Debbie? And oh, we go back. This Way is back. Uh, BC, Before Children. Whoa. So give us a solid six, seven years. Six, seven. Mm-hmm. Wow. six or seven yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. I like peanut butter and jelly. So <laughs> before, wow, oh my gosh. So where was the first contract then? Like where? Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg. Yeah, California. California. No and kidding. Pino Coast District Hospital. Awesome. And how many times have you been there? Off and on since February of 2013. Jeez. And I just ended my contract in December, December of 2017. Mm-hmm. So, wow. Awesome. Yeah. So it's one of those things they just keep calling you back? Like you just go back like every yeah, year or just, whatever? So. Just keep she going back. It. I mm-hmm. leave for three months a few times. Did go to Bemidji, Minnesota for a contract. Oregon. Mm-hmm. Oregon. Ooh, where in Oregon? Uh, that... Redmond, Oregon, which we loved also. I bet. Yeah, yeah. just north the right end. At yeah. the bottom of that ski resort. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Mount Bachelor. What time of year was it? Like, Winter. Oh my gosh, yeah, wow. It was beautiful. Wow, cool. Had a hot tub in their condo, yes. ski slopes in Man. sight. Yeah. That sounds, you're far too good to them, right? <laughs> I mean, it's, this is yeah. not an example of that. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's been very good to us with, with housing. She's been able to uh, find us uh, really You nice found housing. some of them. Yeah, yeah. and consistent. Uh, we lived in the same place in Fort Bragg for four years. Wow. He was a the guy who owned the property. It was it was seized pot land, right? They were growing Correct. up. So the government seized it. He bought it really cheap. He was an old doctor at the hospital, so he likes he'll run it out to the traveling nurses there for a really decent price wow. for the area. Right. He felt it was his mission to have good nurses in Fort Bragg. So mm-hmm. and they have a consistent need. It's just a small area. Mm-hmm. That's the Not it comes up a lot. I hear yeah. Fort Bragg a lot. So yeah, yeah. Inter- Wow, I, I had no idea. Yeah. That's and Steve. Steve got a job at uh, McCarricker State Park while we were in Fort Bragg mm-hmm. as a park ranger aide for a couple of years. And there were actually three labor and delivery nurses whose husbands all worked at the same. Park. No kidding. Yeah. I, so I was going to ask you because we've had husbands that have traveled on the road mm-hmm. with their with their wives before. So tell me about that. How did that come about? Um, well, I just decided to retire early. She was working out in California by herself. Mm-hmm. It was time, <laughs> so I got to retire a little early, and um, it's just a great life, you know, being able to travel. And right. if you take just a two-week vacation, you can really never explore everything in the area. You know, if you have three months to do it, or like we did four years, it was we made a life there. It was really nice. Right. Who? Got you that job. Hannah. Did Sherry? Sher- <laughs> no, no. Oh, did the Sherry's husband work there no. first? No, I didn't. You were the... Steve was the away. first one. He just uh, was looking for something. I hmm. think there was an ad in the paper. He checked it out. And then Sherry is another uh, travel nurse, staff nurse. Her husband Not got with a job. Atlas, but you can be Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Tina uh, Kerrigan-Wilson, who is an Atlas mm-hmm. nurse, her and her husband were the camp hosts at that park. That happens a lot too. That actually uh-huh. came up. That's uh-huh. come up a few times. Uh-huh. Yeah, actually. So that I mean that that happened. That's very common. But I've never I haven't heard of the. I love national parks. Like that's that's one of my favorite things to do. And yeah. so that's that. I bet that was cool. Yeah. This, yeah. It, it was it's fifth, ten, ten miles of beach. Yeah, it was fifth um, fifth was voted fifth best beach park, and you know as far as state parks go in the yeah. United States. Wow. And they don't require any sort of experience for that position. No. You just have to be. Well, the position I had, you 
you know, you had to work with people. Yeah. Public. They previously. Per they preferred a uh, little bit older people because of their better work, <laughs> work ethic. And, they don't you know, put, they, they don't put kids in that job. Yeah. 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 That, that, makes that, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Tina's husband was voted uh, Camp Host of the Year in the state of California, actually. He got an I award and everything. Really? Yeah. So, he's, uh -huh. he's a special guy. Who does she work with? John? John. John Miller? Miller. Yes. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Where were you on that one, Miller? <laughs> Man. He probably didn't even watch. No. So, so <laughs> then... Have you have you been back there since, or, or what other you know as you as you've been out on the road, anything else that you found that like that? Oh, uh, nothing like that. That's why we stayed there so long. I <laughs> bet it was so pretty, so perfect for us. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, small town. And Arcadia's got state parks though. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, Patrick's Point. We're hoping yeah. to explore. And and Trinidad is Trinidad just a beautiful. Trinidad, I've heard uh -huh. that's beautiful mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Awesome. So and then Minnesota is that was that was the most recent one yes no Fort no? Bragg Fort Bragg Fort Bragg was the most recent yes. one Minnesota was before that it yes. was kind of in the middle okay Scott two years Lake, ago maybe two, yeah. Yeah. Okay. fifteen it was in fifteen uh, in Bemidji Minnesota and that was um, IHS. Oh, okay. That was an experience for Deb. Mm, really? <laughs> was a heroin up there. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. 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 Heroin and pregnancy issues. do not match. Mm -hmm. Hannah, no. Hannah, my husband, kept me going. <laughs> <laughs> One shift one. at a time. <laughs> yeah. I kept telling her you got to get through it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but she came out crying. It was, you know, you got to listen to addicted babies all oh, day. You know, yeah, it's just it's really hard on her. That's the tar toughest job I've ever seen her do. the labor and delivery you don't yeah. see. But they put some, I've been reading some articles, they put some programs in place, and their addiction rate is going down. So that's, okay. good. that's progress good. for the community. That's good. Mm -hmm. hmm. So hey, you travel with Zeke. I don't know if the, I don't know if the camera can see. <laughs> Zeke's under the table yeah, down here. He's hiding in quiet. Zeke's a, yeah, he's under. The, he's under the chair there. So he's a Brittany, French Brittany, French, French Brittany. Brittany, thirteen years old. Is that yes. right? And and been traveling with you the whole time. Yep. So how is that? Unless with Steve takes him back to Minnesota right. for hunting season. Right. Oh, that's Which good too. Does yeah. happen. Yeah. And in the spring for in fishing. Spring. Yeah. Oh, fishing. Yeah. Oh, fishing too. Yeah. They've got a nice uh, fishing hut up in Minnesota, but it's not your standard. It's got flat screen TV, bunk beds. This is how Minnesotans do it. Wait, like they ice make fishing. the An ice fishing yeah. hut that has yeah. a TV. Is this? Bunk beds. Kitchen. It has like a little kitchen. kitchenette in it. Really? This like sounds nicer Do than apartments. Do you have direct TV or satellite in there? Satellite dish. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Is direct TV, yes. It's yeah. satellite dish. They make the most out of their cold weather situation. I guess. <laughs> Holy cow. I did cow. just see Deb doing some snow angels outside of that <laughs> mm -hmm. fishing hut last two weeks ago. I had, no, I had no idea. <laughs> we spent a night in it and it was 26 below. And it was, you could be there in your long underwear inside. It was just a heater. Yes. And the ice won't melt yeah. because it's that thick. No. Because the ice is that thick. Correct. Right. Like. And the floor is insulated too, so oh, okay. heat goes up. And it's hard to get the heat to go down to the ice. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I guess it does. We caught a lot of wall ice over the last <laughs> yeah. few weeks. Thus so your Instagram name, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I saw that, the t I saw that today. Like, <laughs> who is this? Oh, yeah. There we go. So. I wish I wish Matt Lawhorn was here to talk to you about ice fishing. That would be that would be great. Man. <laughs> so how is it traveling with the dog? Because that comes up a lot, right? It, it is it hard? Is it harder to find housing? No, not really. No. Because we usually go rural. We've been rural, rural, so it hasn't been too difficult. Okay. Um, I even find if uh, someone's hesitant on pets. Because she has such a history with Fort Bragg and Harvey, who's the person mm. she rented from for so long, that providing references on a dog from another person you rented from is yep. super helpful. And yes. even just today, yes, we secured her housing, and the lady said, "Absolutely no pets." And I said, "I have references on him." She goes, "Okay." Yeah. That, Fifty uh, bucks. He's never done any damage anywhere. No, he's never. No, no. Good. Somebody else had suggested that uh, Joe Getty. When Joe Getty was here, would one of uh, one of uh, Heather's. Yeah. Nurses, same thing. We he has and he has like pictures of of his dog sitting like super nice and mm -hmm. like and a reference on that dog or whatever. And he said, yeah, it's no problem at all. Usually. And so. I think it helps too if they know that you know he's not left alone for twelve hours because right. Steve is Steve's there too. Steve's that's, there. That's when they worry about some of the destruction. I think with those long shifts. <laughs> they get bored. Yeah. yeah, you got to keep them tired yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, especially Brittany. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, so then tell me what as you've been so as long as you've traveled now, not even not even with Hannah. Well, I mean, as long as you've traveled, let's let's change the question a little bit. As long as you've traveled with Hannah, what are some of the best and worst things about your recruiter? Being a waiter. <laughs> Hannah always takes care of me. Oh. I, have no, I have no complaints, no worst. I always get a response um, right away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I have no complaints. No. Nope. The best, the there's, best thing. There's got to be some kind of dirt. You got to give me something here. I can't give you any dirt. No. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Uh, Share a lot of common interests. Yes. Oysters, wine. Wine. Good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the little shipments of wine that come in. Mm. <laughs> she seems. To, <laughs> Hannah seems to get a lot of wine delivered to the it's all for office her. too. <laughs> <laughs> So we live, we live right by Napa, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Fort Bragg is very close to wine growing country yep. and um, uh, some well lesser known wine growing country. So, we've become members at a few wineries. and oh. Golden Eye. Golden yeah. Eye is. The shipments yeah. keep coming. I have no dirt on him at all. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I can, what I can, in I can Vegas. Stays in Vegas. I can true. predict every time she's going to have a baby, though. I have these. Nope. She's wrong. She's wrong. She's wrong. She's really? wrong about the last one. <laughs> really? <laughs> if it wasn't me, it was somebody else. Yeah, you know? I guess. <laughs> hmm. Somebody just ordered a bunch of decaf coffee for the office, and it was a female, so I don't oh. know. So I don't. I don't work here. You, you're not in the office, right? So yeah. So it was a theory. I don't know if it's true or not. So. It's Diane. So. Well, Diane. Well, no. I don't think so. When Hannah has been pregnant, she has um, turned me over to Diane, I think, both times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Diane took the excellent care of me also, so. Awesome. No complaints. That Diane. She'll be on one of these days. I love you, Diane. She dreads being in front of the camera. She's going to love it. She will love it. Very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do? What else do you do for fun on the road? Like when you get out, and especially like Fort Bragg, you know, what what do you do for fun? We've explored a couple of the national parks when we've been out. Um, do a lot of camping. Mm -hmm. Tell them about your tent. Oh, we have a. It's called a tapui. It's a rooftop tent. It's super it sits, cool. It sits on the top of our vehicle, our FJ Cruiser, and. It sits in a box about this flat, and then you unzip and you pop it up, and it's a full full tent. You can fit three adults cramped in there. On top of the on car. Top on top of the car. On top of the car. We have it. On a, I put it on a trailer though. Yeah, Steve built a trailer for it, and it's a little lower now, but same mm -hmm. idea. And so we just we've gone to Lassen Volcanic. Yeah, Lassen. Right. Lassen Volcanic National Park. Um, the redwoods are close. Mm -hmm. huh. um, the one in Oregon, um, Smith. The Smith, the Jedediah Smith. Yeah. Um, we've been through Crater Lake. Wow, so, on the coast quite yeah. a few times. And then um, I'm a knitter, <laughs> so I like to check out the knitting shops, the local yarn shops, uh, every yep. every place I am, and see what's going on. And if they have a little class or who's which there. yarn are you allowed to fit in your car? Yeah. Um, I'm at a, a cap right now. <laughs> <laughs> Capacity. <Yeah. laughs> she has her surplus in a huge bin in California. <laughs> Steve, I got to tell you, your retirement sounds awesome at this point. Like I want to retire <laughs> right now. Right there, yeah. and yes, nice. I could. I could definitely get used to that for sure. Uh, you uh, like to go up to Estes Park. I, yes, Whoa. I love Colorado. We, yeah. my family and I, love going to Colorado. My brother lives outside, just outside of Denver, so that helps okay, too. Like sure. we will go up and visit them, but. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. The Rocky Mountain National Park is amazing. If you have never been there, it's no, oh, you should. It is. it is. It's great. Well, I, there's a couple hidden gems in California. Lassen being one of them. Kings Canyon being another one, which is by Yosemite and Sequoia. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. So. Hmm. Um, that yeah, very pretty. The campers. Uh, we've been crabbing. In Fort Bragg, oh, yeah. Uh, I would really. I would yes, think that'd just right like be a, like a northeast thing, but yeah. I guess you could no. there, right? No. Couldn't you? Dungeness. Oh yeah. Huh? Dungeness. They made friends with the who? Oh. A lady at the local bar. Who's well, who owned that ship? Uh, um, I don't know who owned the ship, but a uh, uh, the medical liaison at the hospital organized the trip, and oh, okay. twenty-four of us went. This was last year, hmm. and. The limit is 10, and we got 240 crabs. Big crabs. Oh, 
crab. Oh my gosh. Um, ten per person. Ten per person. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of crab. That is a lot. Wow. What you guys do? Just steam them in butter? You, you yeah. can steam them yeah. and you can freeze them right away and then you just steam them to warm them Crab up. Benedict. Crab Benedict. One of my favorites. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and Deb is an amazing cook. <laughs> really? Yes, Love. she's given me some great recipes. So how long are you in town now then? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'd be happy to buy if you want to. We're letting somebody else cook for us tonight. Ah, okay, we're there you go. The table. We're going to catch shrimp in our mouth. Oh, which you're going to the. Kobe. Are you going to Kobe? Very nice. That'll be fun. Um, I don't think I don't think Zeke gets to go. but <laughs> No, but he could probably catch those shrimp if oh, all of them could. Yeah. Yeah. So last question, and I love this one. I ask it during the uh, the Atlas Life and the one where we do the interviews online. What is, throughout your entire career, what's the one lesson that's taking you the longest to learn? Mm. Hmm. Mm. You know, I've been a nurse for 38 years, and I've been traveling since 1990, off and on. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess. Never trust your first impression. That's, you know, things may be different if you give it a chance. Yeah. Um, I was unsure about Fort Bragg at first, but I gave it some time and it all it all turned out. It worked so, out? Yep. You can't always trust your first impression. It took me a long time to learn that lesson. That makes it goes into it and, yeah, like open book clean page and she I mean she stepped into like interim management position she's always there to to help the facility with that overtime she I mean she's she's a key player for a lot of the hospitals that she's been at because she's so flexible and I think one of her greatest strengths is her flexibility and adaptation to wherever the heck you end up yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she goes with the flow I think that's and that's integral to you have traveling to right well. yeah yeah um, uh, one don't thing, go in there trying to change all their policies. Exactly. Yep. Or the worst thing you can say is, well, we did it this way at my at, hospital. At my right. hospital. Mm -hmm. This place, we did it this way. Go with the flow. Think about patient safety. Mm -hmm. It's I interesting also, how every time I ask that question, you get some variation of that. Yes. So... And Deb just dies right in. She makes she makes friends with all the staff people, their core people. She doesn't she doesn't know a stranger. So yep. I think that's a great. That department. makes that probably makes it easier too, right? She does know all the bartenders in town. <laughs> hey, which bars are open at seven a.m. when six, she gets off? Six a.m. <laughs> oh, geez. There's always a little hospital Bloody Mary crew for one after a difficult <laughs> night. But yes, in Fort Bray, being a mill town, hmm? six in the morning. That works. Mm -hmm. Awesome. For me. This one here. Yeah. I've actually lived in Omaha. I did. Oh. Yeah. Did you ever go to the poop deck one? No. I only you lived here for three months. Yeah. That's oh. how I can take it. <laughs> 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 wah, wah. Uh, well, with that, thank you so much for you to be for you three being here. I really appreciate four. it. So and four Zeke. He's yeah, out. So you probably heard Zeke running around. Um, Adam will be back next week. If you have any suggestions on on topics for us, we're right here. Let us know. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. See you in Vegas.